Okay, hello everybody, um, here I am with a brand new video, a tutorial, uh, a video tutorial about the rig uh, of a universal joint. It was asked to me by Mufa Pufada, so I'm gonna make it. You'll see it's, it will be quite fast. So I'll base this uh, video tutorial on, uh, on a universal joint, a particular one I love, uh, a Lego one just modelized, okay, um, that is perfectly modelized for this kind of, uh, of application, okay? So, uh, before starting, we've got to, uh, to set a bit the scene, so as you can see, I've created uh, a color, um, color rule, uh, and, name, and I've named my pieces. So, this blue piece is what I consider the input piece, where I'm connecting the engine, for example, or the one I will turn with my hand, if you prefer, the real word. If you prefer, uh, again, the one I'm gonna rotate manually. This is a gimbal piece, and this is the one that is making the universal joint uh, existing, and the output piece, where I'm connecting uh, the thing to, to animate, okay? This is the first one. The first thing to to say now uh, another one you can see I've set it this universal joint like that in a kind of neutral position why for modelization purpose first uh, because it's very easier to modelize it like that and for basic <coughs> settings okay and for basic start of the of the ring but it's not. Uh, it's not the most difficult part. The most important part right now is the position of pivot point for each pieces. They all are aligned on the world. Okay, so the world and they all are in the same place. Check zero zero for the blue piece, zero zero for the gimbal, and zero zero for the output. This is essential. Okay, essential thing. Next, I modelize it. I modelize the gimbal, etc., etc., all together so that every holes and axis are perfectly aligned. Okay. Uh, one stupid thing to say, but don't look too close for at my modelization. Okay, it's Lego. It's made for being seen from here, approximately. Okay. So don't look too close for details. So if you are in this position, you can start a nice and clean universal joint rig. So first thing to do is to give some information for our input piece and more especially where this hole is located. Okay. So here we can hide this okay for working only with our input piece. We're gonna create here through the create panel helpers standard helpers a point. And let's place it really, uh, really where you want for the moment. Now press with this point still selected. Press the align button or Alt A. That's what I'm doing. And here, click the input piece. So basically, it should be like that with the X, Y, and Z position checked. That's not a, not what I want. I do want it to be inside my piece. Okay. So here I'm aligned on the pivot. I just want it to be aligned on this axis, along this axis. That's just what I want. Okay. So here is the case. I could have done that manually, but there's um there's an option of alignment, so let's use it. So here I get it. Oh, one uh, other stuff I've not said. Uh, you can see that if I rotate a piece, nothing is uh, is happening. Okay, it's uh, it's totally uh, free from any constraint. Okay, let's go back to that. <coughs> so, basic stuff I'm gonna do is link with the select and link option, or you can right click. Here I added that select and link that what does it make that now if I just rotate that it's rotating together the most important is along this axis uh, I'm just gonna turn off this snap and go option 
by stepping my uh, movement. Okay, here it's uh, smoother, I prefer. Okay, it's beautiful. So here we've done, I'd like to say, 30% of the work about rigging a universal joint. So now let's unhide by name and let's show the gimbal piece. Okay, here it is. So it's basically aligned on my on my weld. Okay. So now let's just uh, sorry, uh, no use of this. Go in the animation menu, constraint, and here click look at constraint and hit the point. Okay. You can see a beautiful blue line with a huge length. So the first thing I'm just gonna do is reduce this. So here in the motion panel, rotation, you can notice it's added look at constraint. We will reduce here the view line length to something quite uh, quite small like 10. I s in my particular example, it's 10. In your, it will be maybe a 100 or more. Okay, I just don't want it to be uh, longer than my point. So here, what what does that do? Here, let's select our input piece and rotate. Check. It seems to be okay. Uh, when I stop like that and to go like that, I'm pressing Control Z. It's just undo, okay. Undo the rotation. So here it seems great. Just check that. What are we saying with this look at constraint? We say with the length of that about the the wire here, the view line length. Uh, we say that the x axis of our gimbal piece must look at this point, okay. We can flip. We won't see anything because our piece is symmetric along along here so not necessary okay so here we've done a nice a nice step forward okay let's unhide all so here we still have our our stuff and you if we rotate this one we have two of three pieces moving now what do we need we'll need to orient this piece along the exit. So let's create a brand new point, so exactly the same way the first one, and place it same way where you want, and we will just align it on the, so Alt A for align, and here align it on the out piece, but now I just don't want it to be aligned along this one. I want it to be aligned uh, 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 where I am. Okay, this is great is great but not in the right place so let's place it like that I want it in this axis okay so it's along X and Z and I want it outside my universal joint it's a target never forget that and now imagine this point really as a target and a kind of parameter for our, for our sorry for for our universal joint so this one will set the orientation here of the universal joint so let's place it along Z so this point will be able to move you'll have to move it only for the moment on the X uh, sorry only on along Y or Z okay on the Y Z plane now hide back this baby now Select back the gimbal piece and we will play in the move panel rotation in the look at constraint. Okay. And here there's an option select up node. Uncheck that and select this point. No difference. This is not normal. Here we want the y -ax axis to be, uh, sorry, uh, select here. But we want to look at constraint and here it's not good. We want the Y axis of our, of our gimbal piece. Remember what I said, I said previously to align every pivots on your world. Okay, so that this, this one 
this orientation is basically exactly the same for my gimbal piece for my input and output piece so I know the Y is the Y axis of my object here if I go in here local look it's correctly the Y axis so I want the Y axis to be oriented with the point number two check if I move point number two my gimbal piece is moving okay now if I here rotate this check We've got a nice, we've got an interesting thing here. It's working. Why can I say that? Because it's well, sorry, the gimbal piece. Let's maximize a bit. The gimbal piece here is targeting that, and the and the its axes are staying in place in the holes of the input piece. So here, one hundred percent working. Let's go back to our natural initial position so now if we unhide oops sorry unhide the hole we have a little and last remaining step to do is constraining this final piece to do that exactly same stuff select it animation constraints look at and now it will mainly look at this position so here it's funky. Why? Very easy. It's it's looking with the X. It should look with the Y. And if it was flipped, you can flip. Okay. This is very easy. So here it's perfectly working. Okay. <coughs> I'm sorry. Excuse me. So here it seems to be to be working. So why? Because here if I move that, okay, it's okay. Now if I move, or oh, more. Rotate that, check. There are no links. Exactly as we've done, we need to here select this point, and here it should be a look at, and it should be the x axis of this piece that should look this point. Now let's rotate, check. Axis here are staying in the in the gimbal piece our universal joint is rigged okay now just to uh, show you so here same stuff check the length of the view line so it's this one let's here just reduce the length like that okay so it's a bit more comfortable okay now if we here just play a bit come to a to an extreme value like that Okay. Uh, just to show you another mechanical property for ones of you uh, that are not mechanical part, this universal joint has a kind of specificity. It, the non-uniformity uh, of uh, speed uh, transmission look will make a linear speed here. So let's uh, no, it's not what I wanted to do. Let's here set key. Okay come here, rotate a bit, set key, and now here the, the input piece rotation along along Y, I just want 360, okay, 360 is one turn. So here it's not linear, there's a kind of acceleration, so let's come back here and select, here zoom out, select that and select that, make linear. I don't develop that. Uh, I suggest. Uh, I think you you know that. If you don't know, go in the help files and look for track track view track list. I don't remember how to, it's it's cool. Now here, look, look the exit. It makes a wow, wow. Okay, so it's a non-linear, non-linear joint, mechanical joint. Okay, and the more the 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 more uh, important is the angle, for example here, the more uh, violent will be the the move. Okay. And here it's just impossible to do check. Uh, there are universal joint; they have limits. Okay. 
for example in this one it's this angle approximately let's just check if there are any crosses I, okay so here is the stuff uh, one last thing to do but here now it's very 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 easy okay uh, let's just so to, to make this you can put it on the position oh I'm in local view zero here I'm just gonna create a kind of so this is extra so here I, I consider my my universal joint over now it's really some Michelin stuff it's a kind of bonus let's here create a rectangle <coughs> which will be a kind of control shape okay but I'm just gonna place here at zero zero and place it below okay uh, here if I move oop, what I've done and I oh, I just add so let's maximize the view it will be more comfortable okay so here if I move this piece you can check there's a there's a problem there is a stupid thing to do is so generally you'll place your your universal joint from your engine to your uh, receive to your from your input to the output okay so let's select the gimbal and with the select and link link it to this one and same stuff to this one but now if we just uh, place for example like that it play it works okay and now if I move this piece everything is moving along it's still working okay as you can see there's a problem if I here move the orientation of my of my universal joint is not good to prevent that very easy let's say this is the global uh, global control let's say uh, let's name it like that we just have to ring to sorry link our engine piece which is the father of this chain here to this one that if I move this here it move and now I just have to link this target point to this one so that the relative position to these and these are conserved with the positioning of this one so now if I just go up right I'm keeping my orientation okay and now if I just move like that let's check what happens it works okay this was just for the setup of the of the universal joint to work in the YZ plane now we can go uh, really where we want okay and we will have some fun uh, fun stuffs okay so here it is about the the rig of universal joint I hope you've understood how it was working if you've got any question really uh, ask them on on commentaries of the video uh, if you've got any other requests I'll try to answer them thank you for watching see you soon bye bye